subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Beth is half price thrifting. We're at Man Resale in Houston, Texas, and most of the store is 50% off. Can't wait to take you along. Join me. We have been eagerly awaiting their quarterly clearance sale. Everything in the store is 50% off, except for the boutique where they have their own special discounts today. And I can't wait to take you along. Man Resale benefits the community. We love charity resales. And look today, most everything is 50% off in the store. Let's take a look at all the wonderful deals they have for us. Well, we are definitely expecting a crowd today. I'm coming in a little bit early before the store opens so that I can give you a better preview because in just a little bit, the store will be so crowded that you can't even move. This is an area that I always like to find treasures and they often have water for crystal. I see some wonderful things. There's a Wilton Armatel Acanthus Cross. And I see a trinket box. You've probably seen me feature Limoges boxes in a previous segment, and this one is not hinged and it is not hand painted, but it is still a Limoges box. It has a beautiful back scent of Limoges Castel. And trinket boxes have been around since 5000 BC in ancient Egypt. They were originally used for jewelry, and today you can use them for just about anything. They come in all sizes, and this might be a nice start to your collection. And you might want to take a look at my previous segment on Limoges boxes. I feature my collection and a little bit more information on those collectible hinged and hand painted boxes. Here's a hinged box, but it is not Limoges. And now the doors have opened. The crowds are coming in. It was wrapped around the building. Of course, everyone wants a deal half price. You can't argue with. And now I want to look in the cases. I see some Linux Lido patterned candle holders and a puzzle box. This is not something that you find too often at a charity resale. In fact, this might be the first one I've ever seen on the secondary market. Puzzle boxes are really interesting, made of hand carved wood, and it requires a series of steps to get inside to that precious item. And instead of a key, you have to know a couple of secret steps to access it, and I'm almost afraid to open it. My friend Mark collects puzzle boxes, and I will try and take this home for him today. What a deal at half price. And I actually did open the puzzle box. It is quite interesting. It's made of cedar. It has three separate compartments inside that are lined, perfect for hiding a piece of jewelry, something valuable. And it's really an interesting item to have in your home. And the shoppers are finding some deals. And look at this pineapple bowl. It's made by Ray Dunn. $1.75. I like that cheery yellow interior. Great for cereal in the morning. This is the King's Crown pattern. And I've actually featured this very set in a previous segment at this store. And you can learn more about what I have to say on the King's Crown pattern and how to determine the manufacturer based on the thumbprint. This one happens to be round. And I think that it was perhaps put in the dishwasher. It's lost a lot of its color and that's why it hasn't sold. So maybe it will this go round for the clearance sale. And our favorite Imperial candle wick in a punch bowl. How about that with all these cups for $15 today. Teacups are such fun to collect. And for me, when I add to my collection, it has to pass the triple test. It has to have a back stamp that tells you about the country of origin, manufacturer, and oftentimes the pattern name. And number two, it has to have no chips, cracks, or repairs. And thirdly, it has to have a matching saucer. A lot of times in thrift stores, resale shops, you might find something that coordinates, but things do get mixed up. So check those three things when you're adding to your teacup collection. I will continue to highlight teacups as we shop throughout the store. But I wanna show you this amazing pattern for $100. This is a transferware from Royal Dalton. Look at those pops of color with a beautiful back stamp, the Hampshire pattern. And that is a steel. 
and it even has some serving pieces, an open vegetable and a platter, which is really hard to come by with those older patterns. You could even display these. They're so beautiful. I just can't believe the price. If I had more space, I would probably take it home. And the Cameo Platinum from Mikasa is now $150. I did feature this on my last visit to Mam. Brand new, never been used. A wonderful start to your tabletop collection. And quite the classic look. Along with this Oneida pattern, it's called Wicker. And I've acquired a lot of this at the Upscale Resale in Richardson, Texas in the Dallas area. And that's great for every day. For the college kids, for your first apartment. And of course, dishwasher save. Lots of great dish patterns here today. I can't wait to see what else we discover. Look at this set. And you even have a little surprise inside the teacup. Just unbelievable, all those cups and saucers. It's silver clover made in Japan that looks to be from the 1960s. And let's take a look, it's now, looks like $7.50 for 15 cups and saucers, wow. And a pineapple. Oh, of course, they had one waiting for me. I will definitely take that home. Let's see how much it is. $2.50, love it. This is an especially beautiful cup and saucer. Let's see if it passes the triple test. It has no chips, cracks, or repairs. It has a matching saucer and a beautiful back stamp, Bavaria. Schumann Atzbach, Germany, and it has a number 21, which is probably relating to the pattern. Let's take a look at this second teacup and see if it passes the triple test. It's in great shape, no chips, cracks, or repairs. It has a matching saucer, but it is the exception because it does not have a beautiful back seam. It has some hand-painted numbers, which is indicative of the pattern, and that's when you know it is a very, very old, possibly antique teacup. So many treasures in the store, I can't wait to discover every corner of it. And now I want to show you something that I have discovered for my home with a touch of chinoiserie. Look at this, a brown and white pattern with a windmill. How about that? Let's look at the price, $7.50 today with the discount. And follow me on social media, you'll see how I incorporate this into my entryway. A touch of Christmas, I see some merry and bright spreaders and the Spode Christmas tree pattern. I have a couple of friends that have this and I'm thinking that would make a great Christmas gift. And look, it's brand new in a box. There's no price, but they do make me a really good deal at the checkout. And I do like to look into some carts since it's the clearance sale. This gentleman has candles, silver plated items and metalware. This vase is very popular for weddings because it does not take up a lot of visual space. It's always a good idea to have some on hand for bringing flowers. And even the urns, I think, would be great for silk flowers or a plant. And for $2, you can't go wrong. And let's see what else they have. I like to have a pop of color. That green is really nice. And look at the red. That's perfect for so many occasions. And of course, clear is classic. A lot of these are florist vases. They're not very expensive. But if you go to the store, they're probably more like $8 to $10. And here, you're paying a dollar today for this rose bowl. And this pattern I think is interesting. It is glass, not crystal, sort of a Glen plaid look for a dollar. And here's some Korean decorative items for $2.50 each. Look at that woven design. Very familiar to me. I've traveled to Korea and have some close friends in Seoul. And now my favorite area, the glass and crystal. I found some Waterford over the years, some really great items. This bowl is made by the Nachtmann factory in Germany. They make crystal for Tiffany and Company, Marquis by Waterford, Linux, and Gorham. This bowl I have seen marketed in the United States under the Gorham label. For $7.50, you've got a great crystal bowl. And look at this double candle holder. It has a frosted design with grapes and leaves. That would really make a great gift. And it's a fair price. And here is a monogrammed compote. That's not something I think I've seen before. Very interesting. Now let's get into the heavy metal here. I see some familiar pieces. This is an Arthur Court bowl in the grapes pattern. It retails for $109. And this one looks to be in great shape. And look, today it's $10. 
There you have a wonderful gift for any season. I wish I had picked it up. And here's a bowl with an initial B. It looks to be Mariposa at first glance, but it is lighter weight and no back stamp. It's probably from India Handicraft Online or IHI. I wanted to show you the difference between these two silver plated pitchers. This one looks to be made probably in India and you'll see the silver is coming off. It's not a very heavy piece. And now for the same price, $10 clearance price, this is more of a traditional pitcher that is known as an ice lip jug because it has the guard there to keep the ice from pouring into your glass. It is made by the Pool Company, P-O-O-L-E. And I recently bought a cake stand for a friend from that same manufacturer. This looks to be Southwestern with that beautiful hammered edge and the turquoise inlay. For $7.50, it's Oneida in their domain collection. And now I'm peeking into a viewer's cart here and she has found some beautiful plates. This is made by Homer Laughlin in the Fleur de Lis pattern. And look at that beautiful back stamp. These are $1 each. And she also found a ginger jar. Look at this, I love those colors. Beautiful cobalt and the peacock. That really is a masterpiece. And what a deal for $10. Look at those beautiful demitasse. It looks like a French provincial scene. Those would be great for a bouillon or even for a chocolate mousse dessert. Or peau de creme would be perfect in that. And I see some interesting teacups. Let's take a closer look. And of course we find some more teacups. These are not in the case, so I'm assuming they're a bit more affordable. And this one here looks like Haviland. It's that traditional look of the pale, beautiful flowers. $6, so half price at AB3. Sure enough, it is Haviland. Look at that gorgeous back stamp. Haviland Limoges and beautiful design inside the teacup as well. That really is a special teacup. What a deal. Okay, the lines are getting longer. Lots to find here in the center section. And now let's take a look at some of the silver items here. Anything from metalware to silver plate. This is a three-sectioned meat dish. So much you could do with that. $7.50 today. Wow. I'm thinking you could even use that for perfume bottles and makeup brushes and sort of like a tray. This seems to be depression class. An ice beverage for $1 each. And I did see a lady put these in her cart while I was shopping. And that's perfect for a lemonade on the porch for two. This rose design is really neat. It'd be perfect for a luncheon, but I'm partial to the cobalt blue. This octagonal design that looks to be kind of almost a hammered look. Wouldn't that be nice to add to your luncheon? And these ice cream cups would be really good for just about any type of dessert. Anything from jello to chocolate pudding, strawberries and cream. And for an ice cream party, I've used those before and they're great. Here's another look at those teacups and the blue is beautiful. This piece I did see a lady purchase. She was actually in front of me in line later and that's a deal. I think it was a dollar or two. And I think there was a handle that was once on this. I see that hole there. And you could even place some flowers in that if you were hosting a garden or spring themed luncheon. That could be an interesting piece. Look at the crowds. They are doing their best to get people through. It did take me 45 minutes to check out later, but it was worth every minute. And this is a cement piece. I'm thinking you could even incorporate that into your tablescape or on a buffet made by a concrete company. How about that? That's a beautiful logo for $10 today. And I'm always looking for something to put flowers in, a vessel, whether it's for silks or fresh. And this is interesting, kind of a theatrical musical look. Andrea by Sadek, which is a company that makes a lot of historical pieces. $6. I like that touch of blue. And it's not too early for Christmas. How about some holly? You can embellish your centerpiece there, $4 today. And I like how they display these like you're at a, an outdoor flower market. Very well presented. And here are some more of those Homer Laughlin plates, the Fleur de Lis pattern. And I'm going to walk these over to a viewer so that she can have even more plates. And it has a different back stamp. Do you notice that? 
I think this one's even more beautiful. Okay, now she's got some extra plates. See, these were in two different areas of the store. One more reason to look over the entire area before you check out. And I'm really excited about these. These are called Sycamore. How about that? Green Sycamore. And there are four bunches inside, $10 each, so that's $40. And I'm paying $4 today. And for poolside, outdoor entertaining, this is a great idea. And this is a top brand I've seen before, $3 each today. And those are the dinner plates. They also have the luncheon plates. And look, even a centerpiece that would match beautifully. So this is one-stop shopping today for your outdoor poolside entertaining. And the yellow dinner plates sold very quickly. That's a really neat look, isn't it? And I'm going to find something else that could be added to it. I think I'm going to take these home today. 50 cents a piece. That could be great for spring luncheon. Let's take a look at this lovely teacup. It's got attention to detail with that surprise rose inside. Lovely design with a lime green and a surprising back stamp. It is Grace, made in China, Grace Teaware. And I'm thinking that would be wonderful for your everyday morning tea when you're not worried about delicate cups. But perhaps if you're building a collection with English or French teacups, you might want to reconsider which ones you add. And we are about to discover the most fabulous furniture piece. You will not believe it, and such an amazing price. And look at all the different furniture items they have. This is my favorite little section, some of the more signature items. And this cabinet is Welsh. How about that? And I don't believe that it's sold during the clearance Friday, Saturday sale. And now I'll show you all the attributes of this. Look, we even have a divided shelf there. Great for storage, some beading, Oh, this is just a great piece. If I had a spot for it, I definitely would have purchased it. $325. Wow. And look at this. I had no idea there were linens hiding inside. I guess if you buy the piece, then you can have the hand towels too. Such beauty and detail. You just don't get that in modern furniture today. And I even like this centerpiece. I'm thinking I could use that for some events coming up. Let's see how much this is. It'd be $15 today. Take a look at this vintage Welsh dresser. It is $325 after the discount today, which is half price. And there's some attention to detail here with the beading, great storage. This is a fantastic furniture piece. And keep in mind, it's made it across the pond. So it's worth it just for that. I have shipped furniture from Germany and I can tell you it is definitely expensive. So this is a great opportunity to find a special piece for your home. That red chinoiserie piece I've always admired. And the two screens, this one here on the left has inlay and the price is right today. Really a good deal. That's an accent piece you could add to any room. It looks like it's 350 regular, so 175 today. And I even like that other screen that's just the black and the gold. That's a lot simpler and classic. And this chair is a really good deal. The lady was interested. She didn't know how to go about it. So I helped her with the tag and I even got to use some of my Spanish language skills today. And look at that, $22.50. And this table and chairs, why not? It's got some leaves. You could extend it and have a large dinner party. And I'm enjoying people's carts today. We did see this set earlier, the teacups and saucers. What a deal. She's going to have some fun tea parties. Here's a glimpse at the items that I'm getting today. Of course, I had to get the pineapple. And this umbrella stand, I had seen it, but I wanted to take a closer look. It looks like it's been well loved and it's not for sale. How about that? I do like those screens. Now let's go down some of the furniture aisles. This piece I think would be perfect for a kitchen or even a dining room. And I'm thinking the wood looks a little bit mismatched. I would probably paint that. As much as I don't like to paint antique furniture, this is not as old. And I think that'd be perfectly fine. And here is a large crochet centerpiece. My grandma crocheted and I have some of her pieces. And at $5, I'm definitely taking this home. And it's always a good idea to walk the aisles because you might find something that is perfect for your space. And they have something from really all eras here. 
it's always a good idea to look for linens when you're at a charity resale because there are some fine items that are donated. And I see something here that is absolutely fantastic. Today it would be $3. Look at this tablecloth. I just love it. So make sure you look for these beautiful table linens when you're out at a charity resale. I'm thrilled with this tablecloth. And even if it doesn't fit my table, it could be an overlay over perhaps a white tablecloth. And this desk at $27.50. It's from the 1930s. It looks like it's fresh out of the Poirot series. That's the Agatha Christie show. Look at the deep drawers. I would definitely clean this up, wax it, would not repaint it and keep it authentic. It's a beautiful grandfather clock. Now let's take a peek into the boutique. This is a separate area of the store. They have designer clothing, handbags, accessories. I featured this in the past, found some great deals. They have their own discounts today. And they have handbags, shoes. It looks like a lot of shoppers have already been in. And this curio cabinet, I've seen a similar one at Antiques at Rummel Creek with the integrated clock. And that is also very 1930s. It would be an interesting piece. It has the glass shelf. Perfect for showcasing a collection. Kind of a Queen Anne style. And this would also be neat for a kitchen. I prefer the Welsh cabinet. This is a bit newer, but still a really neat piece. And 350, 175 today would be a deal. And this Howard Miller clock looks almost identical to the one that I have in my home. You've seen in the Christmas show. And this happens to be the 69th anniversary edition. There's nothing more wonderful than a Howard Miller grandfather clock in your living room, or even an entryway. I grew up with one in the front. We had two entries, and this was in the front hall. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the Howard Miller. This is 3,000, so today it's 1,500 a steal. We all love Howard Miller Clocks. It's a company that started in 1926, an offshoot of the Herman Miller Office Furniture Company. And later in 1937, his son, Howard, started his own clock business and took over that portion. And the mechanisms are from the Keeninger Company of Germany. And that's why these clocks are not only beautiful, but practical. We chose one for our fifth anniversary. Today is our 27th. And it's something that is definitely a big part of our home and we do appreciate it and it keeps us on time. And a fun fact about Howard Miller clocks, especially the grandfather, it's one of the top prizes in the TV game show, The Price is Right. And this clock would have at least three different chime options, including St. Michael's, Whittington, and Westminster. This looks like something in a restaurant waiting area there. I guess you could repurpose that maybe for, for kids. I could see that maybe at a, a daycare. And this table and chairs is really neat. I have a viewer that shopped the store and she wished she had seen this before she had purchased her expensive dining set. Of course, that could be refinished or painted. A pair of powder blue chairs. I love these. It's nice to have a balance in a room and that would be perfect for that. And everything's affordable, especially today. This is a mid-century piece. I don't know that it's been altered or maybe it was original with a nail head trim and design great storage and that would certainly anchor a room i'm thinking living room den and uh, would be a topic of conversation and the price is right at 75 dollars and look at this couch everyone needs a nice fresh sofa especially a neutral color where you could add pops of color with pillows and this one sold i'm sure as soon as they open 150 dollars and this executive desk looks to be a reproduction. It's certainly not an antique. And they're trying to mimic that English style with the leather inserts there. And if you're looking for size, $150, this would be it. But I'm just not so sure about the reproduction being something you would want. And the inlay here is beautiful. The coffee table is a steal. Look at this, the hand carved feet. I think that would be a neat addition to a living room. And the chest of drawers, I really like the detail here. It has character and you could clean that up. I would definitely not repaint that, $150 today. I would maybe replace that veneer that's missing and use it as is. I like the divided drawer. You don't get that quality anymore today unless you purchase Henredon or some of the more expensive brands. 
And you could even place that inside of a closet. And now let's see how the lines are to the back of the store. And this was a nice surprise. I didn't see it at first, but I made another sweep through the store. $5 for this Indigo Chantal teapot. And these bone china plates are neat. I like the black and white, very classic. That would be a deal, $2 a piece. And you're probably wondering why this platter is sloped. It's actually a meat platter well and tree. And the purpose of that is to allow the juices of the meat to drain into that well. $42.50. It's got a beautiful imperial Wedgwood back stamp. You can tell it's quite old. Manufactured for James Green and Nephew, Queen Victoria, St. Paul's. This covered box caught my interest because it's got Texas on top. And I'm not sure about the Hollywood, of course, the Alamo is a Texas shrine, but all the different uh, meanings there. And I like to learn more about a piece by turning it over. Let's look at the back stamp made by Tiffany and Company for the famous law firm Fulbright in Jaworski. I was pleased to find this nativity set. It takes me back to the 1970s when you could actually buy a pattern that was pre-printed and you simply cut it out, stitched it on your sewing machine, and then you hand stitch it after you stuff it. And for $11, I think that would be a really nice kid-friendly nativity to feature around Christmas because after all, we want the kids to have something to understand about the nativity and to feel comfortable with some Christmas decorations. And I think that is a marvelous set and such a deal. And now I'll show you a few things I'm getting. Of course, you know I'm getting that nativity and that floral piece that was on the Welsh sideboard and the lace for $5. And these green sycamore I'm especially happy to have. $40 retail and I'm paying $4 today. And that'll be nice to add to my silk arrangements. It's been such fun shopping the MAM Resale clearance event. I'm picking up this Pina Pineapple Bowl. It is a Ray Dunn and it's costing me $1.75. And look at this gorgeous Haviland teacup and that is $3. I have the two other teacups and the puzzle box at the register so I will make sure to get those when I check out. And for 50 cents a piece you can't go wrong with these lovely lime napkins. And Wedgwood for $9 with a beautiful back stamp. And it seems to be kind of a floral theme today. Love this tablecloth. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with charity resale shopping.